Hi, I'm Toste, and I'm helping Boris with the evaluation of the scientific data. Boris has an instrument on board that measures carbon dioxide, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. On the dashboard here, you can see the last 24 hours or so of carbon dioxide data together with salinity and temperature of the water. Um, the instrument has been up and running for about a week now. It, li it runs perfectly. Every day you're going to see a peak like that. That is just the calibration of, of the standard gas. So we know that the best possible data is coming out. Interesting enough, so far the carbon dioxide has been lower than the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. That is 410 in the atmosphere and now we're seeing about 400 in the, in the ocean. So that means there is constant flux of carbon from the atmosphere to the ocean. The last 24 hours Boris sailed through or very close to the tropical storm Theta. And interesting enough, we saw an increase of carbon dioxide concentration as Boris approached and went in towards the storm. It could be that the storm whips out older water from below the surface mixed layer that has higher carbon dioxide. It's not quite consistent because we also see a higher temperature. If that was the case, we would actually expect lower temperature. So we will look into this a little bit more. We don't have much data of carbon dioxide from tropical storms.